Hey my Squarespace friends, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Will Myers, I help you build Squarespace stuff. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about adding this sort of breadcrumb right here to our blog category and tag pages. And now this is actually a little more complicated than you would think because we don't have access to those pages in Squarespace. Uh, Christy Price actually sent me this question. She asked if I could help out. I said, sure, she is fantastic. Uh, I highly recommend following her as well on Instagram or just signing up for her, her newsletter because she does a lot of great Squarespace stuff, uh, especially around blogs and stuff. So check her out as well. So here's the core of this problem. We can't edit our category tag and collection pages. So here I am on my blog right here. Here's our blog post items. Let's say I jump into our fall retreat. I'm a user on the website. I'm very interested in, uh, let's see, maybe more retreats. So I come down here, here are the tags right down here. I click on this tag and now I'm back to my blog page and it's filtered by that retreat tag, all these items, but there's no indication on the page. There's nothing that says on the page that I am filtering by this tag, this retreat tag. If you look very closely, the only thing that's different is our URL right up here. It is our blog, but then there's also appended this backslash tag, backslash retreats. Um, so this URL is actually what we're gonna use to build out what we want to do. Build out our little breadcrumb. I'm gonna add it right down here. So the first thing we wanna do is add an element, add a code block or a markdown block if you're on a personal plan, wherever you want this breadcrumb to be. So that is what I'm gonna do first. I'm going to edit our blog collection page. You will need to have a page section up here or somewhere because that's the only way you can add uh, a code block. You can't add it into this thing on the blog collection page. But So I'm just gonna add in a code block and let's give it an ID equal to filter results. And this is what we're going to target this element right here and we're going to add in some HTML in here that is the tag or collection uh, filter, the tag or collection breadcrumb that we want. So it's gonna be empty for right now and we'll use JavaScript to add in that element. Um, so right now on any page, it's not visible. You're just not gonna see it. And only if we're on one of these collection pages that is when you're gonna see that filter. So let's add in the JavaScript right here. So this is on my website. You can grab this on the website. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go over what is happening right here. Uh, we have this function expression and as the DOM content, as the website loads up, then we are running this function right here. And what this is doing, we're looking at the URL of the website. If the URL contains this special string that basically says, we're on a category page or we're on a tag page. I have one down here, an if statement for a tag page. If we're on one of those pages, then we want to run this, this code that adds in the HTML to that div we were just talking about. If this is a little over your head, that's fine. You don't need to understand this. Uh, you can just paste it in and that will work. Um, and we're just grabbing that category and putting it into the HTML. Um, okay, so I am going to copy this code, copy my script here, my JavaScript, and we're going to put it into our blog settings, advanced page header code injection right there. And I'm just gonna paste it right there. And that's it, now hit save. And you should see this work already. So I was already on our tags uh, or our retreats tag filter um, and it just pops up right there. So if I jump back into here and maybe I say, oh, I'm interested in entrepreneur. Let's see if this pops up here. And now category entrepreneur. And that is directly corresponding to this HTML right here. I got this category colon and then whatever the category is, and then tag, colon, whatever the tag is. So feel free to change that HTML if you're feeling adventurous and wants to jump in there. Uh, and then lastly, let's add some styles. Um, again, this is all on my website, so you can copy this from the website, but we'll go grab that code and put this in our design custom CSS area. Uh, and then we'll do that. That'll sort of change the color. Uh, this is our breadcrumb text, which is either category or tag. And this is the breadcrumb filter. So feel free to adjust these styles as you wish. Okay, so there is the tutorial. Um, I'll show you one other thing, do, 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 just to show you, just to prove that on our regular blog pages, 
it's nothing's there. It just doesn't show. It's only when we click on one of these tags or categories. So let me know if you have any other questions. Happy to help out. I love answering questions about Squarespace and just helping people build websites in general. It just brings me a lot of joy. It sparks joy, as Marie Kondo says. So enjoy. Have a good day.